Thank you so much for joining me for Real Change. I have been a long advocate and one who is committed to transformation of our nation because greatness is our destiny, greatness we must achieve, but we all will have to work together to create it. However, there is some things I do believe that we must carefully consider. There is a lot of good intention, a lot of Persons now are crying for change, want to see change. We are fearing corruption and every kind of criminality and so on. And so we want to see all of that wiped out. And so we should. But how we are going about it could be problematic and only create more confusion and frustration because are we using the best wisdom? I believe we are having a what the scripture speaks of, of a wineskin problem. Jesus told the parable, he says, you cannot put new wine in old wineskins. Because if you put new wine in old wineskins, the new wine will burst the wineskins and you lose both the wine and the wineskin. He said that you should put new wine in new wine skins, and if you have the old wine, keep the old wine in the old wine skin, and then you will preserve both the old and the new. But if you're crossing them out of zeal or out of ignorance, you are going to have problems. And to a large degree, I believe that's happening in our nation right now in the, what we are trying to achieve. We're getting a lot of cries out there for corruption that, that is taking place and a lot of people being put out of office for some stuff that end up in an old wineskin. It has existed for eons, but it was never a problem. Now it is a problem. And so it is giving the appearance that there is justice is not being done, and yet the things we desire are good and right. So it is a little bit confusing. I'm suggesting that the reason is that we desire the right but we have not laid the kind of foundation to produce what we desire because we are allowing our fears of repeating our past to so dominate us that we are not applying the best wisdom to solutions. So what do we need, then need to do? We need, in my own estimation, is to take the heed of the wisdom of the Word of God and put new wine in new wineskins. And the word of God, when it says new there, it doesn't mean that it has to be brand new. The word for new is really the same word renewed, meaning you could take an old wine skin, but you soak it in oil, and therefore it becomes pliable again, so it is just as good as new. So it is renewed wineskins. So it is called then new. But notice the process was some wineskins were brand new made. And there are some which were old wineskins but renewed so that it can take the new wine. We are trying to put new wine in old wineskins and expecting it to work and to last. And so what is happening is that the new wine is bursting the wine skins. We are now making some laws and we are demanding some things. We see the Integrity Commission doing some good work, but coming to a lot of conflicts and some responses in the political realm. And it's no use one political side being the other because they are all old wineskins that grew up and developed a system by which we have operated the country. 
Now is the application I'm showing you. So we have operated the nation under old wineskins, some ways of doing things, of running contracts, of doing business in the country. We have a country where there is low trust levels, a country that does a lot of underhand stuff and backdoor deals and that's a, a way of life in the country. And then we are now trying to superimpose some righteous principles on top of it and demanding that system to respond to the new rules. You're going to have problems, going to have frustration, and we will keep hitting our head against the wall and seemingly not to get anywhere. I am suggesting if you would trust the wisdom of the word of God and the wisdom of this servant of the Lord, I'm suggesting to us as a people, to the leaders of our nation at every level, there is that which we said going back 20 years ago, 15 years ago, of what was necessary if we are serious about real change. And the recommendation is, and I put it on the table again, that we need to not continue to try to force new wine and old wine skin and so bursting them, but the wisdom really says you first have to level the, play, the playing field so that you are not mixing apples and oranges. You want to be sure that everyone is on the same plane, that we are all committed to the same thing, and we are all moving in the same direction. A certain section of the society cannot be expecting certain things that the rest of the society don't even know we expect them, and yet we have them as expectation and holding them up. Confusion. That's just like the Babylonian system. It's the system of confusion. We need to pull up, stop, and therefore my thoughts are very strongly level the playing field. Let's go back to basic and make a fresh start. So I'm opening up the dialogue for a recall to a fresh start for our nation. And if a nation will make a fresh start, then there are some things we need to do. So we need to stop fighting, in, in fighting each other. We need to stop forcing what seemed good and pushing it in the old. Not trying to force new wine into old wine skins, but to agree, okay. We need something new, we need something fresh, we need what is going to be guaranteed to work. So therefore, stop, level the playing field. Let us make a fresh start by now first determining what is it we want for the nation. What kind of Jamaica do we want? Where do we want to go? What is it going to take to get us there? And then go back to the basics now that we have agreed on where we are going, what route we are taking, what are the components that we need in it, and then agree to make a fresh start. A fresh start always demands when it comes to people is forgiveness, to forgive each other of the sins of our past, forgive each other of the wrong thing, of the ways we have done things in the past. And forgiveness all re requires an acknowledgement that we have messed up, an acknowledgement that how we have done it is wrong. That's what this country needs. We went wrong in the political arena. We went wrong in the business arena because there are many today who are speaking as if they are squeaky clean when they earn their money by illegal means. I grew up in the Jamaica when many of who have wealth now, they got it from ill-gotten gains and ill means. Now that they have their funds, they look pretty as if they have never done anything wrong. That's what I'm talking about, change. 
That's what I'm speaking of and referencing to as part of the whole thing that we are calling for new ways and better ways, but we have not dealt with the old and therefore there are inequities and it's going to end up create injustice and it is only going to be a battle that we can never effectively win because the new wine is going to burst the old wine skins. So fresh start is the way to seriously consider. Let's level the playing field and agree. Let's go back and begin on the platform of acknowledge that as a nation we started out well we got off course, let's then say acknowledge it and come now and say, look, we, the leaders must ask the people for forgiveness. We, the people, must be willing to forgive them and we ourselves for our own part in the, using the phrase, the arms house going on and let us now forgive each other and set fresh rules and guidelines for how we want to run the critical areas of our nation, how we want to see the political side operate, how do we want to see how we deal with government contracts, how we handle the people's money, the clear methods of accountability, and the systems that we will operate in, and commit that teaching to all so that everybody understands and make sure they get it then now we can begin to go to enforcement of the new system because everyone is on the same page because we have effectively dealt with the past we have visited the wineskins renewed the wineskins and have it ready for new wine I want you to consider what I'm saying here today. Without getting in all the illustrations, let's get the principles right. And I'm speaking to us in leadership of the nation at every level and say, come on, we will not win the battle for the new Jamaica trying to put the new on the old. Level the playing field, go back to Fresh start principles, apply fresh start principles, real change will then happen quick and fast. Consider these things. Let's create the dialogue. See you again next week.